Hey YouTube, it's Patrick. Today I want to share some of my personal Bitcoin mining experiences with you. Um, I wanted to wait first wait to see if I can get some results. Um, I was able to do so. I came in a little bit high in the market when I tried to do some Bitcoin mining. It would have been a lot better to have faith at the beginning when Bitcoin was only worth $100 and, and bought you know the 60 giga hash um, miner for about $1,500. Instead, I, I, I bought one for about three grand. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. I first got in with about um, seven um, ASIC miners, one of the little USB miners I had. Seven of those running at one point. I had another mon money making opportunity come up, so I felt like with the difficulty changing so fast, I was better off just cashing out, getting my money back. I really had thought the price of ASICs were going to drop and stay at a low value. Um, they did drop. I predicted on my channel that they would reach five dollars. I actually bought some for ten. Um, I also bought some for 12 I bought some for about 15 so this is after I sold my original one I made my money back in, in another investment and I was looking to invest again I started to you know buy them at ten dollars because I sold mine for 25 and so it was a great bargain for me um, and just to follow just to see where Bitcoin mining goes like I was just really interested um, to see how hard it would be for an individual to keep up with big companies and everything and then in Bitcoin, it did what, what no one uh, could have predicted. Is it jumped from about $150 to about $1,200. And having known that, I would have never sold my ASICs. I would have been invested heavy. You know, when it was you know $10, I would have been you know buying huge amounts of ASIC miners. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have that foresight and didn't expect that. And you can't really count on that stuff. So you know, it is what it is, and I sold it. But I'm glad I still had. I was mining some with the um, four ASICs that I got for ten dollars. But after the price explosion, like who wouldn't be more interested in Bitcoin and mining to really see what it was going? And I just couldn't believe that you know these sixty giga hash uh, Butterfly Lab things were going for three three grand. And I realized that the best way to make money is to pre-order one of these uh, coin terras. Um, they had these two terra hash uh, Bitcoin miners. It was uh, approximately around three dollars a giga hash when the Butterfly Labs were selling for closer to like fifty-five, sixty dollars a giga hash. So it was such a great deal. However, with the difficulty changing, you know, they really have to bring the prices, you know, comparative per giga hash for something that's pre-order that's not actually, you know, out on the manufacturer from the manufacturer's full. But realizing, you know, that this was the way to go is to buy one of the pre-order one of these things. I didn't have six grand, so, you know, I have equity in my home, so I figured I'd go, you know, get out a quick ten grand and, you know, invest in one of these things. And, of course, you know, I had to tell the, the, the person at the bank what it was for, and then we got into this discussion about how Bitcoin's, you know, not backed by anything. And, of course, I told them that the dollar's not backed by anything. And, and it was really funny that the banker still thought that the dollar was backed by gold, and I had to bring the uh, horrible news that the, in fact the dollar is a fiat currency and it's not backed by anything and but I was feeling a little bit backed in the corner and you know suddenly realizing that my options were getting a slimmer and slimmer to get into the Bitcoin mining business so in the discussions with the banker they did say to you know you, if you need some fast cash you can't get a credit card and you know they had zero percent interest and so sure enough I went and got the discover card with a, a you know credit limit of um, ten thousand dollars but unfortunately, the Coin Tierra doesn't take credit cards. They only take um, Bitcoin and ACH direct um, deposit, you know, cash from your bank. So, you know, once again, I, you know, feeling a little, little frustrated that I, that I couldn't do anything. I thought of another plan of where I can buy one of the 60 giga hash uh, units and sell it right away. You know, because PayPal, I can put my credit card on the PayPal, buy one of these things, even mine some Bitcoin, which I did, and then sell it back. I actually saved three, three to four hundred dollars when I bought it. They were going for about like thirty-five hundred dollars. Um, I got one for like thirty-one, and I kept it for about a week, and I sold it for twenty-nine. So I felt that I made out on that, and I had now I had three grand cash. And once again, these coin tiers are six grand, so I realized I couldn't get one of those. So there's this company called Bitmine.ch, and they produce um, really big uh, units as well, and they have them um, scalable down, so you can um, get into something a little bit cheaper at a pretty low giga hash rate. Um, so I think they're going the the coin tier was about like 283 a giga hash, where these are like 583, so a little a little bit more expensive, but you can get it. You so now that I had the money, I was able to buy one of these 
and I sat down at the kitchen table just to cover all my bases and try to figure out a rough guesstimation of the difficulty. And I guess I, I kind of like math and that's why I like Bitcoin mining because there's a lot of math um, when you're looking at equipment and all that kind of stuff. So and it was really, really funny because I, as I'm like, you know, doing this, I get down to exactly what my Butterfly Labs is mining at now, which is so funny how the industry regulates itself. Like this is what you're going to pay, whether in the future or, you know, at the present, you know, this is what a giga hash will cost you. So with that being said, you know, for an individual with not a lot of cash, I, you know, a lot of people get said, you know, is Bitcoin mining dead? And they got mad that, that I even questioned it. You know, I was just asking a question, is Bitcoin mining dead? But I, you know, it's not dead, but it's really faith-based. You really have, have to have a lot of faith that Bitcoin will go up. Because I paid for the, I did get the, about like 0 0.35, 0 0.4 Bitcoins um, with the 60 uh, Giga Hash Butterfly Labs uh, miner. However, I paid $1,500 of Bitcoin. Had, had I mined a whole Bitcoin, I would have paid about $1,500. At the time, I could have bought one for $1,000. And I remember watching other Bitcoin miners and saying that, you know, it's actually cheaper to buy it, just buy it, you know, than buy mining equipment. And now I really, you know, I guess I had to go in and do it myself to really understand what they were talking about. But I definitely understand what they're talking about now. And, you know, instead of wasting my time with mining, I'm going to be just spending that money in Bitcoin and trying to trade. It was funny, the other day I had a successful day of trading that I mined what my, I, I, I didn't mind, I traded and got Bitcoin back. The same amount that took my ASICs about like four weeks and I did it in one day. It took my ASICs like four weeks to get this amount of Bitcoin, which I was able to trade in one day and get, you know, it's a small amount, but still, nonetheless, I was able to obtain Bitcoin um, a lot easier and a lot faster by just trading and owning Bitcoin. So to wrap it up, basically what I learned is that Bitcoin mining is, is hard and expensive and it, you know, you can break even really easily. I'm, I'm not scared of buying a piece of Bitcoin mining equipment because it's, it will hold its value. And, you know, that's why when I threw, you know, the Butterfly Labs on my credit card, I wasn't scared of really losing a lot of money. And I pretty much broke even, if, the, if the, that's at $1,000 of Bitcoin, if Bitcoin shoots up a little bit, of course I will make more money. But once again, it's probably just easier just to buy it. Um, if not, there is a thing called cloud hashing, and that's what these big companies um, are, are buying up, you know, this Bitcoin mining power, and they're turning around and selling it, you know, for cheaper because they're buying it at such big quantities. They're selling it to you cheaper than you can actually buy equipment yourself. So, like, they're selling it for around $40 a giga hash when, you know, the cheapest giga hash you could find out there was around $50 a giga hash. So I'm going to do some um, videos on cloud hashing. I'm going to look into it just as an invest investment standpoint, see if I can make any money out of it, if it's worth it at all, or if it's, you know, a slow savings or just not worth it. So I'm interesting. A lot of, there's a lot of spammers that hit my videos, you know, for these cloud hashing sites. So I want to try to give a few of them um, a chance and basically do a video on to see what's going on with cloud hashing. But that's it for now. I hope you learned something from my experiences. You know, if you want to buy, you know, if you want to mine Bitcoin, I really, really suggest you just go and buy it and, um, and trade it when it goes, you know, sell high, buy low. But, you know, of course, that's easier said than done. But all right. Uh, that's all I have for you right now. And I'll see you on YouTube.